Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Java web application project which is entitled as Bike Store Management System. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So, in the existing system of the bike store, they would have maintained the records of the bike cost details or the customer details and everything in a manually in a paper or a book or they would have used excel kinds of formats for storing those information so which is not a centralized one and also retrieving the data which is already stored is also a critical one so to overcome the issues that is available in the existing system we have proposed the web based application using java and mysql for this bike store management system so here we have three entities that is admin user and the visitor so here we can see the system architecture which consists of the user and visitor and admin so here in the existing system you can see the drawbacks in the existing system and the disadvantages of the existing system and here we can see the proposed system where we are proposing using the java and mysql and also the advantages that is available in the proposed system so now let us see the execution of the project so we have developed this project in java netbeans ide 8.2 so first open netbeans ide 8.2 so now you need to load the project into the netbeans ide 8.2 so first click the file menu and click open project now go to the source code location in the source code folder you can find the bike store management system just select it and then click open project now kindly wait till the complete project has been loaded into the NetBeans ID. Meanwhile, let us attach the database in the MySQL. So just go to the MySQL administrator and enter the MySQL administrator with the credential of username and password as root and root and click OK. And now in the left side, you can see the restore option. And after clicking that, you just go to the right side, open backup file and select the database. So just go to the project folder where you can find the database folder and select the database and then click start restore so now you can see the restore operation was finished successfully message and you can close it so which means that we have successfully attached the database so just we can close this mysql administrator part so coming back to the netbeans ide you can see the project is being loaded successfully so now we need to run the project so just right click it and then click sell run so now kindly wait till the project has been transferred to the browser part So now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title bike store management system and here you can see some few sample images and here you can see the entities that I have described you that is admin user and visitor so each part has the registration and login so admin as admin registration login user as user registration login visitor as visitor registration login so first let me go to the admin part so I don't have any login so first let me go to the admin registration so once after clicking admin registration it will be navigated to the admin registration page so now let me create the admin registration big off of my name JP by entering the details of the name password email id date of birth gender contact number state country and then click register so now you can see the registration is success and now it will be navigated to the admin login so just enter the name and the password and click login and now you can see the login successful message and click ok now it will be navigated to the admin home page so the admin home page has the option of bike employee customers purchase detail rents so everything will be empty because we have not added anything so first let me go to the bike details you can see it is empty employee details it is empty customer details empty purchase details it is empty and rent details it is empty so now let us add the things one by one so first let me go to the bike details and let me add a bike so just click add new bike so it will be navigated to the insert bike page so here you need to enter the details of the bike so first let me enter a company name for the bike called Yamaha 
and bike model name or one five yes and price is around one lakh sixty three thousand and bike color let me enter as black maximum speed is 150 length is 100 and height is 50 and you can choose a bike image just go to the bike image and you can select the bike image and then click submit and now you can see the bike info is added successful message and click ok now if you go to the bike details earlier it was empty now you can see one detail that is added that we have given you so that is id one with the company name yamaha bike model or one five color and if you wanted to delete it you can delete it or if you wanted to update it you can update it so first let us view this detail so this is the detail so for example if you wanted to update the information just go to the update so let me update the color as black to blue and click update so now you can see the update has done successfully and once if you go to the view details you can see the blue has been updated perfectly so in this way we can add the n number of bikes whichever you wanted so now let me enter the next to bike details now you can see the next to bike details i have added a second bike so those details are uh, been updated here perfectly so whichever you wanted for example if the price we need to update it if you wanted the price is modified you can just modify the price here if the price is reduced you can enter the price here or if your uh, price has been increased you can enter here and click update and now you can see the price details has been updated perfectly here so I'll add a finally another bike company TVS Apache let me select the bike and click submit so now if you go to the bike details whatever the things that we have added it has been shown here so as the operations which we have done earlier same we can able to modify the things so now all the details has been updated now let me go to the employee part so just let me go to the employee detail there is no employees available right now so let me create a new employee so the admin has the right of adding the employee so now let me enter the employee name as m1 for easy understanding m f m1 at gmail.com So just you can select a photo for the employee you can click any sample photos and click submit and now if you go to the employee details you can check the details of the employee that we have added same thing we can able to view the details of the employee with the photo that we have added if you wanted to update the salary kinds of thing you can also uh, update any information that is added so let me update the salary to 15,000 and click update now you can go and view and it is seen salary has been updated so in this way you can just add the your employee details now in the customer detail there is no any customer so first let me add a customer for example I'll name the customer as cust1 and cust1 at gmail.com date of birth contact number 
address and customer photo and then click submit so now the information is added successfully and if you go to the customer details you can see the details of the customer so we can uh, able to delete it or update the information whatever is given so in this way you can add n number of customers or employees or bike so now let us go to the logout for the admin part go to the user so in the user as the registration and login page so first let me go to the registration part because we have don't have the user login so this is the user registration page in this i'll just enter the user registration name as user for easy understanding and let me give the other detail that has been asked during the registration part and after entering the user registration click the register and now you can see the registration is successful message and it will be navigated and now let me go to the user login page so it will be navigated to the user login here page so just enter the username as user and user which i have given i click login so now the login is success and now you can see the user home page so in the user home page you can see bike purchase just click this bike purchase so what all the detail that is given in the admin for the bike that has been updated here so once if they add the new bike also it will be shown here or if they delete this thing it has been updated here so just you the user can able to click the bike details and they can see the bike image what is the company model price color bike speed length details everything so if they go to the other one royal enfield you can see the details of the things and other bike is tvs apache those details have been shown here so for example i'll go to royal enfield and let me click purchase so now you can see the bike is purchased successfully now let me log out and go to the admin login so in the admin login we can after logged in you can just go to the purchase details so earlier you would have seen there is no any purchase details. now the user has been purchased the royal enfield so classic 350 that has been updated here successfully in the admin part so now the final is the rent part so now let me log out and go to the visitors part so visitors part as the registration and login so i don't have any visitor login so first let me create a visitor registration so now after clicking register registration we navigate to the visitor registration page so just uh, i'll name it as visitor for easy understanding And after entering the details just click register and now you can see the registration is success now it will be navigated to the visitor login page so just enter the details of the visitor you name and password and then click login so after entering the correct username and password it will be login successful and it will be navigated to the visitor home page so in the visitors home page you can see the buy rent option so whatever the thing that has been updated in the admin part the same is viewed here so here let me go to the yamaha r15 and now let me click the rent so now the rent has been updated successfully and now if you log out and go to the admin login So now in the admin login we go to the rent details you can see the rent of the thing that is the Yamaha bike and the model name and you can see the rent per day so this is not the cost of the bike so this is the rent for the bike is being shown here and now let me log out and this is all about the bike store management system using Java and thank you for watching.